Hi guys, so we're gonna go ahead and make this into a mock-up that you can use based on the image that we took uh, with our iPhone and Lightroom Mobile, and we're gonna turn it into a mock-up that you can insert your own images to into this iPad. So we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer by hitting Command J. First, I gotta click on the Photoshop. Command J, and if you're not familiar with Photoshop, I recommend that you take a couple tutorials to orientate orient yourself with uh, Photoshop. So we got our extra layer here, and then I'm gonna create a new layer, just a blank layer up here, and we're gonna grab our marquee tool because we're gonna to create a smart object. And we're gonna draw a square roughly the size of our iPad. And I'm gonna say right there, it doesn't have to be exact. We're gonna go up to Edit, Fill, Black. We're gonna deselect, and then we're gonna turn this entire layer into a smart object. So now that's in a smart object, we are going to make the smart object fit into our iPad. So I'm gonna hit Command T, and then if I hit hold Command, and I'm working on a Mac, so I'm not sure exactly what that would be on a PC control, and I'm gonna drag these edges to where I think the edge of a real image in an iPad would, would extend to. So it's probably not gonna go all the way to the edge, right? We're gonna have a little bit of black there. And I'm not gonna be as precise as I would if I was developing this for a client, but um, I just really wanna give you guys the idea on how to do it yourselves. And again, I'm hitting Command as I'm dragging these toggle, um, these little handles to really get full control over adjusting the object. And I definitely think this needs to come over some. And then I think this one down here needs to come over. Just fine tuning. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna hit enter. And now if I double click on my smart object, and you actually have to click on the thing itself, we have this black square, right? And this is actually what I'm gonna drop my, my um, image into. And I'm just using a screenshot of my website. And you notice right away it doesn't fit. That's because the aspect ratio of my browser that I took the screenshot was different than my, mock, my um, like iPad ratio. So sometimes that can be an issue, but for this, it actually is okay because it still kind of has like fitting everything that I would want in there. So once I adjust that, um, and I hit okay. And oh, sorry to select and transform. It's really just transform. So it's command T that's going to give you all of this and you can like scale it, but, um, you know, or you can like grab command again and like stretch it. So all of that. Um, happens with the transform tool. So that's command T and I'm just gonna get that lined up. And once that's lined up, it's really easy. All you do is you click out of this or you press enter to, to save it. You close out of this, you hit save and voila, it fits right into your mockup. How cool is that? And then you can adjust the opacity to give it a little bit like not so bright. So maybe your like iPad isn't at a full setting. You don't wanna look at have it be like too bright. So I'm thinking like, so this is full brightness. I'm thinking like 97 looks good. So that's pretty much it. Smart objects are really awesome to use when you're doing mockups. And if you guys have questions or want help doing it on your own, let me know. But this should conclude the series on taking a simple uh, style flat lay and taking that image and turning it into a mockup. All right, guys, so the last thing you would do is flatten the image, file, export, export as, and then you would fit, pick your format here. You can go with JPEG. I don't really adjust the size, and you export it, and you save it wherever you want, and there you go. All right, guys, talk to you later.